All right, we're going to be deriving the vertex formula. And just like we did the quadratic formula, these start with oh, something x squared plus something x plus another something. But instead of it being set equal to 0, it has two variables because we're looking at the two-dimensional equation of a quadratic, which would be, when graphed, a parabola. So I need to put this in the right form. And the way we did that is I had to complete the square, but I can't do it with a here. So instead of moving it to the other side, my only hope would be to factor it out. And by factoring it out, I'm really dividing it out. So this becomes b over a. But I don't want to divide it out of the c. Normally we move the c to the other side. But instead, I'm going to have to put it out further. So that if I were to simplify what I have here, it would be the same value. It would look exactly the same as what I have. So now, off to the side, I do the same thing as I did before. I have to take half of b over a, which is b over 2a, and then I need to square that. So I get b squared over 4a squared. So I'm going to change to a pencil here. So I'm going to add b squared over 4a squared. Now, normally we would do it to the other side. But since I can't cross this equal sign, whatever I add, I also must subtract so that I'm adding 0 to this side of the equation. However, I really didn't add b squared over 4a squared. If I were to distribute this, I'll just kind of do it small right here. ax squared, that's what I have. Right? If I distribute it to the next term, I would get bx, so I already have that. The new part is right here that I'm about to distribute. So it's a b squared over 4a squared, which reduces down to b squared over 4a. And then I still have my plus c. So this is old, this is old, this is old. This is the new thing right there. So if I'm going to add this, then I also have to subtract it from the same side. So I'm going to come all the way down here. I have my a factored out. And then I'm created that extra term so that I can create a perfect square here. So when I took half of b over a, I got b over 2a. And then the rest of this, the c minus b squared over 4a, I'm going to kind of ignore it. Because once we got our uh, parabolas or our quadratics forced into this form, then what we had was x minus h squared plus k, and our vertex was the opposite of this number and the same as this number. So now that I have it sort of in that form, then I know that my vertex is the opposite of this number, which is really b over 2a, and then the same as the rest of this stuff. But rather than remembering all the rest of that stuff, what I'd rather do is figuring out what, figure out what my x value is and plug it in. So the way we write that then is negative b over 2a will give me my x value. And then I'll just plug it in the function to get the matching y value for my vertex. So another way to write this then is the x value of the vertex is negative b over 2a. So that's my equation.